Hi, everyone. Welcome back to On.net. I'm Becky Buckler, and I'm here today with my buddy Sam from Progress. Yes. Um, Sam, you've got some exciting things to show us today, right? I'll try. So uh, thanks for having me here. It's uh, great to be on campus. Becky and me are in the Microsoft Studios here, beautiful day. Uh, but let's talk about cross-platform development. Let's talk about making developers a little bit more successful and productive. They always want to be more successful and productive. Indeed. Let's hear Let's it. dive in. All right, so if you have not noticed, me and Becky are big fans of .NET MAUI. Mm -hmm. It's been a while uh, you know, uh, to get it all going, but this is the evolution of next generation .NET cross-platform development. We're hitting all types of mobile devices, iOS, Android, that's given, coming from Xamarin land. And now we got desktop. We got Windows, Mac, uh, Tizen. So it's uh, it's a really good place to be. You know, tooling has come a long way thanks to Becky and everybody else who works in the .NET MAUI team. Now we got Visual Studio on Windows, Mac, and now we got VS Code support as well. Very so, exciting. A uh, lot of good things for developers to be excited and be productive with .NET MAUI. However, uh, we'd like to help out a little bit more. Uh, so I am Sam Basu. I'm a dev advocate at Progress Software. And you may know us for some of the things we do to help developers be just a little bit more productive. Uh, so I'm going to take you to Teleric.com. That's our home for all of the UI components that we build across .NET, JavaScript, you know, testing, reporting, uh, rules engine, CMS. We do a lot of things. But uh, my heart and soul lies with mobile desktop uh, components here. So if I look at the mobile stuff, we ob obviously have had Xamarin for years and years, and mm -hmm. that's great. Uh, but then .NET MAUI, this journey began pretty much on day zero of .NET MAUI launching. Uh, and you know, we have been busy with you folks uh, every week uh, in and out and trying to build out as many UI components as we can uh, to help our customers be more successful. So developers get to ship their apps a little quicker. You know, it's you know polished, performant UI that they can just drop in. Uh, you know, Windows or Mac, we don't care, and be able to you know easily bind to whatever data they want to bring in. Um, have the confidence that ev everything is pixel perfect across iOS, Android, Windows, and Mac, and that's not a you know light thing to say because these are very different platforms. Uh, Xamarin was one you know uh, where we just had mobile, but mm -hmm. now we have the same you know data grids across desktop, which is you know a very big you know form factor in Canvas and then the same UI on iOS or Android as well. So we have to be really careful about how we render things. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have been busy uh, you know, uh, trying to build up as many things as developers might uh, end up using. Uh, so a lot of input controls, a lot of data visualization, a lot of you know, interactivity, layouts, anything we can do. Uh, so it all starts up here at, uh, you know, at our MAUI uh, landing page. And uh, you know, we have little things like extensions that will help you out, uh, templates that will help you out. And you don't have to trust anything that I say. Uh, this is what you know, developers should be doing. Uh, you have to try it out yourself. OK, uh -huh. but just to be clear, I do trust you. Oh, that's good, because you are my friend. <laughs> but you should all uh, try it out. Uh, see if a UI you know, toolkit, see if a tooling is good for what you're trying to do with your app. Uh, so we have a couple of apps out in the App Store. So you can you know, go get those apps from iOS, Android, Windows, or Mac. Try out the UI. Make sure it works for your app. Awesome. Yeah. That's super exciting. Yeah. So let's take a look, actually. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, some code here. Uh, I'm in Visual Studio for Mac. It works the same way on Visual Studio on, on Windows as well. If you just you know, installed uh, the binaries, uh, this is what you kind of get. Uh, we have had a long journey. We are at uh, you know, 5.2.0, which runs on the latest MAUI bits. .NET 7, .NET 8 uh, bits are also you know, coming. Uh, so we have binaries. We have examples. And these examples are pretty much the same uh, apps that you see that we power uh, with the apps that are in the store. So you can look through the code. It's you know, a, a full-on uh, you know, enterprise-ready in-the-store app, so it's not fake hello world. Yeah. <laughs> right? And it's a true code base where you can see how we are doing like MVVM design patterns, how mm -hmm. we are structuring things, how we are doing data binding. So it's, you know, as a developer, it's also good for me to see how a real app is you know, built. Uh, so here I am in Visual Studio. I have the solution open. And uh, this is a code base which has all of our UI just shoved into it, because we just want to give you one app that has all of it. So uh, this has no MVVM you know, uh, framework that we are bringing in. Uh, we're just utilizing what's built in .NET MAUI, uh, which is you know, plenty. Uh, we do have some extensions, some behaviors, and converters uh, in there. Uh, but this examples uh, folder has all of our UI. Uh, that is you know, needed by developers, enterprise developers, or indie developers, where you want that data grid to be pixel perfect. You want a chart. You want a graph. You want a calendar. 
all of the things that are really hard to you know use by uh, or you know build by hand. So uh, this is a .NET MAUI app. Uh, so I'm going to just run this on uh, my Mac uh, as a desktop application. All right, here so, we go. Yeah, no, it's all real here. It's <laughs> doing a build, uh, and I, I have it building for every platform. So you know, it takes a second, but out comes a desktop application. Oh my goodness! Right? Now this is busy, and you know, I'm sure this is something the .NET MAUI team uh, is also catering to. There are two types of audiences. One is we have developers who have always done Xamarin. Mm -hmm. And mobile is what they want to do. They're moving over from Xamarin, Xamarin Forms over to .NET MAUI. Mm -hmm. So that's mobile first. And then we have customers who have always done desktop, right? Maybe WPF, maybe even Forms. And we have folks who are doing desktop first with .NET MAUI. Mm -hmm. And this is new. Uh, you know, we are having the same UI stretch across mobile and desktop. So here's a desktop app, and it looks busy because it's meant to be busy. It's, it's a desktop application. So yeah, again, all of our nice. UI is right, right here. Uh, some of the you know really hard hitting ones are things like data grid. Everybody needs a data grid, mm -hmm. uh, which is you know performant, <laughs> has all the features that you can think of. Uh, you know, uh, when you're building desktop applications, you need things you know like frozen columns or you know sorting, mm -hmm. filtering, grouping, all the things that you can think of on a data grid. It's you know it's built and done uh, for you. Uh, more hard hitting things like you know different types of input controls, uh, combo boxes, check boxes, data form. I love this. If you have you know uh, a data object for where it's just a you know form driven uh, app, you can just throw the data object at it. It just renders all the UI. It can figure things out. It's nice. And then we are uh, known for our charts and graphs, which is a lot uh, because it gets complicated. Uh, let me try to find uh, any of the charts. So we do have a chat component. If you're building like you know chat GPT type uh, AI, uh, and then all of the charts and graphs is what uh, people really love. So a variety of you know bar charts and financial series charts, lines charts, uh, scatter series, you name it. You know it's it's there for you to use. And I this like is what picture. enterprises need because they they need all types of you know data to be brought in. Uh, now in addition, we also have needs for you know working with documents. Uh, it's not something you think about a lot, uh, especially on the mobile front, but uh, the moment you get to desktop, you have you know, your business workflows. You need to be able to work with spreadsheets, Word documents, PDFs. Uh, so we, we have a whole .NET uh, you know, library that just does document processing, and all of that magic is built in. So you can render PDFs, you can open up you know, spreadsheets, you can open up Word documents and go to town. It's all you know API driven, so developers have pixel perfect control over exactly what's being rendered, uh, you know, on each document. So that's us. Uh, tree view, uh, time picker, just a lot of UI components. These ones are again, uh, some of them cater more to desktop uh, than uh, mobile, and then some of them cater more to mobile. But it's all one big happy family. That's amazing. Yeah. So again, we have you know enterprises who are doing a lot of .NET MAUI de development just straight up for desktop. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't want mobile right now, but maybe you know two years down the line they would like to turn on mobile yeah. uh, apps. And it, the good thing is it's all one code base. Mm -hmm. So the same UI, the same uh, you know platform API access just works on mobile, uh, you know, and uh, desktop. Now let me show you one more uh, app here. And again, all of these things are things that people can you know go to GitHub. Check out the source code or run things uh, on their own. Uh, so I'm going to show you one more solution here, just to kind of pinpoint how uh, you know uh, this needs to be thought out. Just mm -hmm. because .NET MAUI works on mobile and desktop does not mean the UX should be the same. Because mm -hmm. you're talking you know mouse and keyboard versus touch. Right. Uh, so very different you know form factors. So let me run uh, you know uh, a little crypto app here. Uh, it, this is all fake. <laughs> uh, I'm not pulling any crypto data. You may or may not want to. Invest a whole lot in crypto these days, uh, but this is another .NET MAUI app. All of the data is, you know, it's local, it's fake. Uh, but I want to showcase like how uh, you have to think about this as a developer. So here is a desktop application, and mm -hmm. it's going to look the same if you pull this up on Windows. We know that you're running on desktop. This is .NET MAUI APIs. We know exactly which platform you're running on. Right. And uh, here we can pull up, you know, a list of, uh, you know, cryptocurrencies. And for each one that you, you know, tap into, you get like, a detailed view. Uh, so how is this, you know, Bitcoin doing over, you know, six months or so one year? Uh, you can do, you know, uh, regular charts. You can do like financial mm -hmm. uh, candlestick charts. Uh, so a pretty, you know, usual busy desktop application. However, if I'm a developer and I want to make this app also run on mobile, 
I probably don't want this. I don't think so, It's no. busy, it's too busy. <laughs> uh, however, I also don't want to reinvent the wheel. I want to be able to reuse as much of my UI as possible. So all I have to do, in, and this is the you know, magic of .NET MAUI, we can just you know, flip around uh, where this app is running. Uh, so let's go change this up. Uh, I'm on a Mac here, and again, this works the same way if you're on Windows or you know or want to run this on Android. Let's switch to an iPhone 14 Pro. So you know, classic mobile uh, interface, and let's you know fire up the same app. I'm not diving into any of the code because this is all out there for mm -hmm. people to you know uh, uh, look through uh, on their own time. Uh, let's see. It is complaining about something. All right, we'll close this, uh, and maybe Matt will come back to this if, if it needs to be. But let's let's try again. Let's uh, try running this on an iPhone 14 Pro. Mm -hmm. And it's building, uh, and it should. Uh, this is a cold yeah. start, so okay. iOS Simulator comes out. And I can do this on my, you know, my devices as well, uh, you know, deploy directly from Visual Studio onto my devices, and that, that you know, workflow is really nice. I can do hot reload, yep. thanks to you <laughs> and Maddie and everybody else. Uh, so my you know, workflows are really nice and tight. Uh, my inner dev loops are nice. That's good. Uh, let's see if this is working. I'm imagining that big chart on my phone. I'm like, I would need to take out my reading glasses. <laughs> Okay, so it took a second, but now it's up. Mm -hmm. So the same app, now you see that it's working on mobile. And this you know, list of uh, cryptocurrencies, this might look familiar because it is the same UI. So we can just compose our UI in a way where we are reusing things across you know, mobile and desktop. Here is a list which we saw on desktop was on the left. Mm -hmm. And you could you know, tap on one, you could see the detailed view on the right. Here, because you're on a you know, smaller form factor, I have to tap, and then I go to a different page. And then it'll go to the graph. Same exact UI, right? I'm you know, not uh, recreating anything as a developer. I'm just reusing the views oh, yeah. and just you know, deciding, are you on desktop? Are you on you know, mobile? And just adjusting the view accordingly. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a lot of help here you know, for developers to be inspired. You know, we are putting out apps in the App Store, so uh, you can s look through real-world uh, app code base and you know, try to be more productive here. Uh, and again, we are, you know, we are building on this as quickly as we can. You know, we are already at parity with everything that we had with Xamarin yeah. uh, and Xamarin Forms. And this is just the beginning. You know, .NET Maui has been a great journey. And we'll just you know, look forward to making developers more and more successful over the next few years. Absolutely. I can really imagine um, those things taking away a lot of frustrations that yeah. people might have. And you know, uh, really well done UI, like performant, polished UI, it takes engineering. It takes effort. Mm -hmm. And as the .NET Maui team will know, so we are happy to help and augment the developer experience. Yeah, yeah. Make people faster, make people more efficient. Absolutely. Um, well, that was awesome. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. If you're looking for more information, just check out the links below, and you can find uh, the links to the GitHub. Yes, yep, absolutely. absolutely. More information. Um, Sam, thank you so much for joining us. That was Thanks awesome. Thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, 